Well, this next story sounds like a ripoff of a Hollywood science fiction movie. In just a few days, NASA will launch a satellite directly towards an asteroid in the hope of preventing what's being described as an apocalypse. Let's bring in Professor Alan Duffy to talk to us more about this. Professor, is Bruce Willis working for NASA now? Ah. This sounds like the plot to Armageddon. <laughs> It is very much the idea of Armageddon, just a little uh, bit smaller budget than that film, <laughs> and certainly no Bruce Willis. This is uh, a pretty incredible mission, however, known as the uh, Double Asteroid Redirect uh, Test, or the DART mission. NASA is launching a spacecraft to strike a near-Earth asteroid known as Didymus. And the intention there, or at least rather, the pair of asteroids, because it's being orbited by a smaller asteroid. And I say small, but it's 160 meters across. This is a class of asteroid known as a city killer. If it was to hit a city, it would be equivalent to a nuclear strike. It would absolutely wipe it out. So wow. these are the kinds of asteroids that we want to try to intercept. And through hitting with a spacecraft at high speeds, ever so slightly change or nudge its trajectory and direction, and hopefully cause it to sail by uh, safely past the Earth. Mm. Now, this asteroid is absolutely not on the way. This is instead the perfect uh, test uh, to, to, well, uh. show that we can do this because, well, when it is Armageddon, you don't want that to be the first time you've tried to nudge an asteroid out of the way. OK, so to be clear, this, this little sucker, it, well, this big asteroid, is not uh, we're not in danger from this, but we're doing it as a test run in case it was coming our way, right? That's absolutely right. This is the test for doomsday. So we want to make sure that we can uh, move these asteroids out of the way. And this is why we're testing on one that's completely safe, because if the mission goes wrong, that that's going to be awkward, but at least it's not going to be Armageddon. So <laughs> yeah, this is ask, why NASA is going uh, to this extraordinary effort. Now, all of this is the most extraordinary level of, of precision. The, the uh, uh, spacecraft is going to fly after a 10 month journey, will strike this orbiting little moonlet uh, at 23,000 kilometers per hour. It's equivalent to a few thousand kilograms of TNT when it strikes in terms of energy. And all of that is going to change this uh, uh, little uh, moonlet's or asteroid's velocity by less than a snail's speed <laughs> in terms of motion. Wow. So a, and yet, so we think we can see that difference from mission. Earth, and we think that's going to make a difference to its trajectory. Yeah, it's a suicide mission for that spacecraft, sort of, if I can put it that way. Oh, 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 yeah, no, this thing is going to get absolutely obliterated when it hits. Yeah, it's, and, it's going to be gone. But and, it will have served its purpose. And it's just completely unrelated, but is that a koala in a spacesuit over your right shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> it is. This is an official Australian Space Agency Fabulous. koala knot. Uh, the cousin of this little bear behind me went up to the space station uh, oh. and, and now is pride of place. Not behind me. This is the replica. <laughs> the real one is sitting at Australian Space Agency headquarters uh, in Adelaide. It is very cute. Professor Excellent. Alan Duffy, thanks for your time.